block it if I'm running to the market Cause you never know who's watching you So I gotta stay on Okay, so this topic was inspired by someone who left me a comment on one of my previous videos, and her name was Betty Booth. When I mentioned that your hair grows faster in the summertime, she wanted to know what she can do to aid that process along. So it's a little bit of science mixed with a little bit of fact, you know, and everything put together. Now, there are different types of oils. There are carrier oils, and you have your essential oils. Um, your carrier oils pretty much help your essential oils to get to wherever they need to go depending on where you apply them now the carrier oils that i like to use and there are many different ones you know you have olive oil you have coconut oil and things like that um however little known fact for those of you using coconut oil and you have dry scalp or dandruff i would stop using it use babasa oil it has the same properties only thing that it doesn't have is that one property that causes for your hair to flake over and dry and, and be have dandruff in it so babasa oil will be good for you now oils carrier oils that i like to use are all, also have moisturizing properties in them and the two that i like to use are um vegetable glycerin and grapeseed oil now with that being said my hair growth oils essential oils that i like to use are lavender now with essential oils, you only need three to five drops because they are so potent. You know, even though it's natural and it comes from the earth, too much of a good thing is never good for anybody, right? So also, peppermint oil is another one. It's really, really good, helps with blood circulation, blood flow, and it also, if you apply it to your scalp with a carrier oil, of course, three to five drops, it will help in circulation of your hair and hair growth. Another one is sage. Now, if you have hypertension or high blood pressure, I would stay away from sage completely. But if you don't, again, three to five drops. Rosemary. Um, three oils that Native Americans have been using for years, not only in their hair care routine, but also, you know, for other things, healing wounds, their skin, stuff like that, is um, stinking nettles or nettles. Um, burdock, no, yeah, burdock root. And saw palmetto. Now, saw palmetto is really good because it helps to unblock those blockers that keep your hair from growing. There are a lot of people that suffer from a hair pulling disease called trichotillomania, where your edges are all out and it just continues to pull out. That is a hair pulling that is going on inside of you. You know, and Jamaican black cast oil will not cure that. So, you know, it will not at all. So you need the saw palmetto, the burdock root, and the stinging nettles put inside of another carrier oil to help aid that along. You can even put it in Jamaican black cast oil if you want. But if you have that thing blocking you, Jamaican black cast oil, you're going to need more than that. Um, I also am going to start sharing with you guys um, my detox teas and um, hair growth teas and hair growth luminaires and also hair vitamins that'll help in hair healthiness because it is not just good that we have long hair but that we have long hair that is healthy so in one of my next videos when I get my life together I am going to be sharing with you my website so that you guys can go on there and purchase those things and I'm also going to be giving you a brief overview of all that I have and what it does and what's in it and I will definitely give you a little bit of secret burdock root Saw palmetto and stinging nettles are some of the three things that are in there along with other herbs and things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I didn't want it to be too long. If you want detail about anything that I ha that has been discussed today, please let me know. Leave me a comment in the comment box below and I'll be sure to do that. Until next time, 